I have a Bulgarian name because my parents, they chose to, to save the name that was given to me during the process of my adoption. Yambo, Azamuruddeno Ngop Yambo. I am born in Yambo. And when I'm three years old, uh, I am starting the process to be adopted to Denmark. I was given to adoption when I'm six days old. It was written that my mom, she had some sickness and therefore she was uh, giving the child for adoption. But it's not uh, mentioned a father, it's not mentioned why. My parents, they choose to adopt me from Bulgaria. And I think it uh, has a good influence from my godfather, uh, who is from Germany. I know about my adoptions since the first day my Danish parents, they are coming to the children's home. I don't remember today, but I still have this kind of like feeling of that I know maybe weeks or months before they to come to Bulgaria, I know that, that there is a process of it's my turn, it's, I am the lucky one to, to be adopted. When I come from Yambo to Sofia, I know that this is my adoption. There's a new life, there's a future. And I just was running <laughs> in front of, of everyone to get on the plane. Um, and since the first day arriving in Denmark, I, I've been towards my friends. Like, I'm adopted from Bulgaria and I'm proud of this. Like, I have always been strong. With my parents' support, they have always said, just be who you are, like, don't fear, don't hide, just say you are adopted, and that's how it's like. And that has helped me a lot in my, in my childhood to, to just to be strong enough to overcome this trauma and not to, to pack it away or to... I grew up in a, in a society uh, on the countryside where we were very open and honest and uh, everyone knew that I was adopted um, and um, sometimes the boys they will play towards me and try to intrigue me to to example to say ah yeah but uh, you are you are Bulgarian or you are not Danish and, and I will be standing in front of them and say okay I mean I am Danish and, and I'm Bulgarian and you <laughs> you're Danish and what <laughs> and so just before school years I, I start to have this confrontation of that I'm different and during my school time I, I do have these confrontations as well um, that that I that I was different, but I, I really tried to, through circus example, or through uh, all of my sports uh, activities, I, I really tried to, to stand out and to say, okay, I, I do circus, this is different, I am from Bulgaria, this is different, but it doesn't matter, all of those different aspects that I have, they can empower me. After finishing my schooling and uh, thinking that I was available to, to enter my, my career as a circus artist, I, I suddenly took a, a really big uh, down tour. One year I was absolutely off. This year it, it, it made me realize that there is something pulling me and I was understanding that even though that I grew up in Denmark, which gave me everything, like a, a beautiful life, uh, like I could choose whatever, um, I was free, I was empowered and so I recognized that something pulled me back to, to Bulgaria with this down tour. That year I lost everything, like uh, my, my previous uh, boyfriend and, and so on. I, I was alone suddenly, I just find myself as a grown up woman. A young woman, I, I found myself alone. 
I just went uh, on this trip alone um, and it was very emotionally, um, but it also gave me this hope. It gave me suddenly the whole new energy of my life. Like um, I started to, to believe in that, that this path that I had worked for four years in a circus school uh, and to be able to go on stage and just to live this career as a professional circus artist, I started to realize that when I came here to Bulgaria, uh, a lot of those things was not needed for me either. Like, and I could see here, this is a beautiful country. I want to, to give a lot of my skills. I find the people who, who, who want to work for the same like, goal and mission as, as I uh, to, to, to implement social circus or to, to empower or to, to bring something new where, where it haven't been seen. Right now here I, I see that I have a lot of um, opportunities that uh, was not given to me in the right time in Denmark and also it will be difficult for me to, to take or to get these, those opportunities in Denmark. Um, in Denmark there is a lot of social circus uh, organizations, there is a lot of artists um, in the contemporary circus field and um, in some point there is a lot, in some point there is not. Um, but it, it has for me become like suddenly very difficult to be heard, to be seen um, and uh, for this was actually easier for me to, to take the choice, to pack my bags and to get back to a place where I could then see that there is nothing of this here. And with the knowledge that I already have, uh, that I could actually start to, to, to present this new, new art form here and I could start to actually work um, and I could uh, have these opportunities here, and why not? So, um, for me, it may have been saved uh, some part of my my down tour that I could pull myself up and to say, okay, I can see here it's nothing of this. I want to work for it, like like no matter the cost of it. I'm Danish. I feel Danish. I grew up. My my mother language uh, is Danish. Um, my my educational, like, uh, it's from Danish, um, um, but at the same time, um, everything who is me, my body, like my my way of of having my <laughs> emotionally or my temperament still today as well, it's Bulgarian. I can see myself uh, towards my my friends in Denmark nowadays and I'm like okay but I'm still today not like this typical Danish person there is a for me it's um, it's still a very difficult question to answer today like how do I feel about my identity I may will say that I feel rich that I could say that I can play both parts that I have two identities and that I actually feel strong to, to be able to, to, to have those two identities. I don't have this kind of like attachment to one or another of those identities. Mm-hmm.